said one and two and three and four. I said one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's up, guys? Uh, how's everybody doing on their end? Um, Marvin and Kid back again. You guys know my slogan, but how is everybody doing? Uh, so, by popular demand, because I've been getting them and getting them and getting it, uh, I got a lot of requests, don't worry, and I'm going to get to them, but popular demand, people want to see me react to a reaction vid, of a reaction vid, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do it, but I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I come from an era that I hold very dear. And everything that comes out of that era, even if it was garbage or not, I hold dear. So, the kids are back again, right? And, um... Uh... They're back again, and this time around, they're... They're, they're dealing with more stuff from my era, the 80s. Yeah. This time around, instead of 80s music, like last time, they're doing 80s, 80 movies, movies from the 80s. Uh... I know this is pretty old, but people still just want to see me. I think the problem is you guys are thinking I'm going to flip out like I did on a couple of the other ones. Uh, we don't know. You never know. You never know because I may do that. Uh, besides, Hurricane is asleep right now, so he won't be here. But uh, old Chris still got enough anger if he needs to be. Uh, but yeah. Let's uh let's let's do this, shall we? All right. Do, 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 do. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. God give me strength. <laughs> These kids better not piss me off. One, here we go. Mm. Usa, here we go, here we go. All right. Now. Today we're going to see how well you know classic 80s teen movies. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, I think I can do pretty well at this. Oh, oh, I got this. I'm so prepared for this, you have no idea. I don't really know anything from the 80s. I don't even know an example of an 80s teen movie. I honestly can't think of one. When I think of 80s teen movies, I literally just think of John Hughes because he created most of them, like The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink. I think I may have this one. First movie, y'all. Do you know this teen comedy from 1982? No. No. No, I oh do not. Wow, well, I really don't know this. Very beachy. Surfing. It's so cool. I see a surfboard. It's... Come on. Surf's up. Like a really old version of Teen Beach Movie. The poster looks really familiar. Like, I feel like when I went to like Blockbuster, I've seen like this. The character's name is Did something... Did you just say Blockbuster? Sp Spicoli. Spicoli. Something high school? Is it? Is it so No. Something at Ridgemont High. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. This is there the movie go. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, Fast Times are... Okay. See, okay. Ellie, yeah, is, that girl got that. it. I would have never gotten that. Oh! I've heard of that. I remember it was pretty funny and it's pretty cool. I've been wanting to see this for so long and my dad hasn't let me. Dang, if we had waited like two eyebrows. weeks, I'm positive got the I would have gotten this because I probably would have convinced her by her. now. She's scaring me. Does this poster look familiar? Nope. No. No. What the hell? I'm getting like a genie vibe. It looks uh -uh. like kind of like Fairy Godmother wish movie. You gotta be John fucking Hughes kidding me. I got that right. I said it's gonna be a bunch of John Hughes movies. It has Anthony Michael Hall in it. He's like in every John Hughes movie. Oh, this is the one where they grow the the doll you, and it's. Oh, oh uh, Weird Science. This one Thank was you one God. of the first 
John Hughes movies God, that I ever saw. This right. is the 1985 movie Weird Science. Oh, Weird Science. Weird Science? Yeah, I don't know this one. I've also never heard of this one. I've heard of Weird I'm Science. I'm gonna, ooh! And there's a song, Weird Science. Didn't, yeah, I know the song a little bit. It's one of my favorite movies of the 80s, man. You might recognize this actor, but do you know this movie? Oh okay. Risky business. He looks familiar, but I can't remember what his name is. What's his name? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! God. Like Mission, Mission Impossible, right? Tom Cruise. And there's a time for playing it safe and a time for... Mission Impossible. This is Jerry. This isn't Jerry Maguire. When did Jerry Maguire come out? Jerry Tom Cruise. She said Jerry Maguire, y'all. He's in his underwear, and then he has sunglasses on. He has a button-up shirt. Oh, risky dirty business. Something. We're, dirty. We're back risky business. Day more risky name. business. Tom oh Cruise. God, I watched this for yes. the first time three days ago. It's great. That was the 1983 comedy Risky Business. Risky business. Oh, risky business. All right. Totally off. It. That sounds. Familiar. I don't know that movie at all. Is this the one where he comes out in the shirt and he like does a slide dancing one with the glasses? I don't think I've ever seen the movie. I just know of the movie because of that famous kind of dancing. The next movie stars the queen of the 80s. Do you know it? Nope. Oh my. Gosh, this is so okay. bad how I don't know these movies. Is she the girl from The Breakfast yeah. Club? Molly Ringwald. I love her. She's in so many movies, I don't even know. It's the time of your life that may last candles. a lifetime. Is this 16 Candles or Pretty in Pink? I think it's Pretty in Pink. The one with the candles in the title. 18 Candles? What is this? It's not... It's not pretty and pay, it's 16 Candles. This is 16 Candles. I have this movie on DVD, and I love it, and it's hilarious. It's either 16 right, so Candles or Pretty and it. Pink. I don't this know, one. she's wearing pink, so I'm gonna go Pretty and Pink. No, I feel like that's not it. Let's go 16 Candles. This is the poster for 16 Candles. 16 Candles! Dang it! I see it on like Twitter all the time. Like People are like, oh, this is the best movie ever, but I still haven't seen it. At the time, Molly Ringwald was like the queen. She was like in all of these movies. It's such a funny movie, and it's pretty relatable to like everything that she's going through and stuff. It's just, it's great. So far, so good. Not flipping out. Okay, let's see if you know this dark comedy from 1988. Nope. Nope. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Well, I know Winona Ryder. I'm going with the word prom. It feels like a prom-y kind of thing. Oh, the Heathers. Uh, Heathers. Is this the Heathers or no? I've yep. never seen the Heathers, but I've heard like so Yo, much about it. Stop I do with know this one, and I was just watching eyebrows. this the other day. She's got Carly I really like Heathers the musical. Me. So then that's why I started watching it. This is the poster for Heathers. Heathers? Never right. heard of it. I've never heard of this movie. Are you serious? Mm. Who would who would know this? Oh. I would it's a movie. shut your I mouth. It was a play. I know there's a musical after it. It's a very popular musical. I feel like this one stands out from a lot of the 80s movies just because it's like like it still has that 80s feel to it, like where it's kind of like silly yeah. and romantic and stuff like that, but it, it's like it's dark. Like they're like killing people. Um you I, I didn't get that reference. I was stupid. Anything about this poster look familiar? It looks I like swear Superman, to God. But that isn't Superman. He's got hair coming out of his uh stuff, so I'm guessing he's a werewolf moon in the background. Is it called like Teen Werewolf or something like that? Teen Man werewolf. wolf. Teen Wolf. Am I right? Oh, is this Teen Wolf? Oh yeah, That's it's right. Teen Wolf. Oh, Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox. Uh Teen right. Wolf? No, that's that's a TV show. You got no, that's, Oh that's my a, god. Is the TV show based off this? This is Teen Wolf from 1985. I was going to say Teen Wolf, but then I was like, you know what? That doesn't make sense cuz there's a TV show called Teen Wolf. I didn't even know there was a previous Teen Wolf. I only watched the one with like Tony O'Brien. Teen Wolf is like has a bunch of really iconic scenes in it. And Michael J. Fox is fantastic, and he's a wolf that plays basketball, so like that's just awesome. It's about him going through high school, then he actually becomes like the coolest kid in school. So there you go. Become a wolf, make it to the top of the food chain. I'm sorry, Michael. Really am. And Final finally, movie. do you know this one? Nope. <laughs> Fear is Bueller's Ferris Day Bueller. Off or something like that. I just there you go. The guy from Inspector Gadget. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? I'm mind blanking. Wait, I know this one. I know this one. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I just watched that like two days ago. That is um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is like I think one of the most classic 80s teen films. This is the classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That name sounds familiar. I've gotten so that much crap for never seeing it. It's like 
what everyone wishes they could do as a teenager, but they can't just because they're not crazy enough. I feel like a lot of 80s movies, they're known for just being like stupid, but then you like love them. My family, I'm we gonna, quote you see that kid's neck on a daily basis. My All hands these movies are just very around his neck. Nostalgic for me, even though I wasn't born until Wait, 2001. Keep, keep Carly eyebrows away from me. Alright, y'all, um, see, I didn't go too crazy, but, um, let me, let me, let me talk to that kid for a second, okay, the young man who, who don't, didn't know any one of them, he, he needs to be educated, somebody needs to sit him down and educate him on greatness, an era of greatness, okay, he needs to be educated, kid with the glasses and the slick back hair, don't you ever talk about my error and saying you're stupid. I will I will snap, pop, and choke your ass out. Don't you ever talk about my error like that. Um, not bad for a lot of them because they actually, some of them actually like it. Like Ellie, who has the Carly eyebrows. She, she I like her. Um, she, she know her stuff. But, you know, she got to shave my eyebrows a little bit because she got the Carly eyebrows. And, and Carly eyebrows and Carly who plays Enchantress in the new Suicide Squad. That's what I'm talking about. She, I freaked me out with them eyebrows. I'm not even joking. Um, but <laughs> but uh, not bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the problem is, is that, yeah, um, kids need to be educated. Um, I hear a lot of people, you know, when they, they, that were watching these, the previous ones, and, you know, kids from the 80s, kids from the 90s were feeling ashamed, and, you know, because they knew it, and they didn't, and it's just like, the Teen Wolf, I kind of had a feeling they may go right to the Teen Wolf show on MTV. Um, I wasn't shocked at that um, too much, but I, I just, a little bit I was shocked. You saw me beating my head. Um you know, people, they, you know, you think of, you think of Teen Wolf, you're not thinking about, you know, Michael J. Fox, especially if you're from this era, you're thinking about the Teen Wolf on MTV. And, you know, even that one girl said, I didn't even know there was a movie, previous movie. Yeah, uh, there was that movie. And then there was a second movie that starred Jason Bateman as the, the wolf this time. Uh, but when it comes to Michael J., you know, it's just like, I was a little, sh you know, I, Michael J. really close. I was shocked that they didn't have a couple other, you know, classic, uh, you know, 80s movies on there. You know, I, I thought would have been there. But, uh, yo, it is what it is. Y'all, um, I didn't get too nuts. Uh, but these, these kids make me feel old, man. They, they really do. And I'm not even that freaking old, but I, I feel old sometimes. Look at my hand. It's stiff as a board, right? See that? See, it's stiff. But when they start botching and things like this, is my hand starts, starts doing this. <laughs> well, what you going to do? Anyway, y'all, y'all take care. Um, I'll see you around with some more. Yeah. Make me feel old. Talking about my era like that. Stupid. Man, I'll just give me five minutes in the room with him. Five minutes.